Hi and a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to our daily current affairs session. I hope you all are doing great. Your preparation is going fine. So, uh, do check out our crash course for RBI Grade B exam. Right, less than forty five days are left. It is still you still have time. You still have time to you know rectify maybe the wrong. approach if you are following you know to get the right guidance in the right time right and start implementing to revise what you have already done you we also have a very comprehensive test series and also download our app download our app from google play store right so that you can get everything download Infinity or the Anu General app from the Google Play Store, so that you can get all of your study materials, including your previous year papers, you know, at one place in a very small amount of time, in in a very quick span of time. All right, so let's start with the very first question of today. We have which state has signed an MOU with N I X I C S E Data Service Center to establish? इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड डेटा सेंटर ओके सो बेसिकली बेसिकली क्या है कि एन एक्स एन आई एक्स आई सी एस ई डेटा सर्विस सेंटर खुद में एक ज्वाइंट वेंचर है राइट दिस इज इट्स सेल्फ अ ज्वाइंट वेंचर बिटवीन नेशनल इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज ऑफ इंडिया एंड सी एस ई डेटा सर्विस सेंटर और राइट दिस इज बाय सी एस ई ई गवर्नेंस सर्विसेज लिमिटेड ओके इट इज अ प्राइवेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट हेल्प द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फेसिलिटेट यू नो एंड deliver e governance services like one of the common service center all right so national internet exchange and cse e governance services have collaborated to form this nixi cse data service center all right so nixi cse data service center ke sath kaun se state ne kemo you sign kiya hai to establish an international data center answer you have answer the question first You have options: Tripura, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Madhya Pradesh, and Maharashtra. The correct answer here is Tripura has signed an MOU with NIXIC SC Data Service Center to establish an international standards data center. All right. Uh, so the center will be established at Indra Nagar in Tripura. So CSC E Governance Services have launched a joint venture uh, to set up the proposed data center. सो so, ये नेशनल इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज ऑफ इंडिया बेसिकली क्या करता है दिस दिस इज एक्चुअली अ मल्टी नेशनल नॉट अ मल्टी नेशनल बट एन इंडियन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइट दिस इज एन एन पी ओ एंड एज यू ऑल नो ऑल दी एन पी ओज गेट रजिस्टर्ड अंडर सेक्शन एट ऑफ कंपनीज एक्ट राइट सेक्शन एट ऑफ कंपनीज एक्ट टू नेशनल इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज ऑफ इंडिया बेसिकली एक नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है दैट सपोर्ट्स एक्सचेंज सर्विसेज टू ऑल द इंटरनेट सप्लायर्स और इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स इन द कंट्री और राइट सो बेसिकली इसका मेन एम क्या है टू हेल्प सेव द फॉरन एक्सचेंज रिजर्व टू यू नो बाय एक्स्ट्रा बैंड विच राइट टू कलेक्ट ऑल द डेटा एट वन प्लेस एंड यू नो हेल्प द इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स डिलीवर देयर सर्विस इंप्रूव द सर्विस डिलीवरी टू देर कस्टमर्स सो दिस इज द बेसिक आइडिया बिहाइंड निक्सी और राइट एंड इट हैज कोलेबरेटेड विद सी एस सी ई गवर्नेंस लिमिटेड टू टू यू नो लॉन्च अ जॉइंट वेंचर नोन एज निक्सी सी एस सी डेटा सर्विस सेंटर ओके सो द सी ई ओ द सी ई ओ ऑफ एन आई एक्स आई दैट इज नेशनल इंटरनेट एक्सचेंज ऑफ इंडिया सी ई ओ इज मिस्टर अनिल कुमार जैन एंड ही हैज साइंड दिस एम ओ यू विद त्रिपुरा सो यू गाइज यू नो दैट डेटा इज द न्यू ऑयल राइट डेटा इज द न्यू ऑयल नॉट ओनली बिकॉज द इंटरनेट एंड मार्केटिंग कंपनीज यू नो माइंड द डेटा टू गेट पर्सनल preferences for marketing and advertisement but also like oil needs to be stored right likewise data also needs a very uh, strong and a resilient infrastructure as far as data storage and maintenance and data analysis is concerned all right so this is what it is and even for better and accurate governance right even to you know reach the higher accolades of e governance data becomes very crucial especially in the uh, you know 
world where we are you know moving towards the fourth industrial revolution data becomes very important and such an mou between tripura and nixi it is also important why because all the data all the data that the government of tripura will be requiring to you know deliver its governance services it will be provided for free of cost by this uh, conglomerate all right it will be provided the data will be provided for free of cost to the state government of tripura and even the state government of tripura can store all of its data with the center right with the center also it will also attract high highly skilled it professionals uh, especially people who belong to tripura right now are working in uh, it hubs like bangalore and pune they they can also get a chance to get employed here it is a it is an initiative of rupees 150 crore okay the 150 crore will be invested with the joint venture with this joint venture that we are talking about and the land space to develop the data center this this is the only thing that the state government of tripura is contributing so it is a very uh, brilliant and a win win situation type of mou and yes this question is important for the exam point of view as well so which state has signed an mou with geological survey of india to develop a regional level early warning system for excessive rainfall resulting in landslides right so landslide is a major major problem iske natural causes bhi hai soil naturally bhi kabhi kabhi dheela ho jata it starts to creep in and it causes landslides some of the landslides are very very devastating causing huge loss of life and property and one more thing that is there with landslide is that like earthquake it is very very difficult to predict exactly when and where a particular landslide will take place and the most prone regions for landslide are north east states the himalayan states uh, especially in himachal and uttarakhand and the western ghat region these are most prone to landslide for both natural and you know human causes like illegal sand mining uh, unsustainable construction activities so this is an mou between geological survey of india a state particular state has signed an mou okay so now that you know that landslide kon kon se areas mein zyada prominent hai if you know if you know that no landslide northeast uh, northern himalayas and western ghats mein prominent hai then यू नो ऑप्शन एलिमिनेशन में आपको ईजी हो जाता है बट बट दिस क्वेश्चन कंटेंट्स ऑल ऑफ दीज ऑल ऑफ दीज फाइव स्टेट्स दैट आर नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स सो यू शुड बी नोइंग द एग्जैक्ट आंसर हेयर द करेक्ट आंसर हेयर इज सिक्किम हैज साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद जियोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया सिक्किम की जो स्टेट डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट अथॉरिटी है स्टेट डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट अथॉरिटी एज कोलेबोरेटेड विद जियोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया जियोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया के प्रेजेंट डायरेक्टर का नाम क्या है डॉक्टर एस राजू ओके दे हैव साइंड एन एम ओ यू टू प्रिडिक्ट रेनफॉल एंड रेनफॉल इंड्यूस्ड लैंड स्लाइड इन द कंट्री ओके सो दिस इज द न्यूज दिस इज लैंडस्लाइड नेशनल लैंडस्लाइड ससेप्टेबिलिटी मैप ये नेशनल लैंडस्लाइड ससेप्टेबिलिटी मैप कैसे यू नो किसने लॉन्च किया है दिस मैप हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय द जियोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया इन कोलैबोरेशन विद इंडियन मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट ओके सो दैट दे कैन ऑल्सो प्रिडिक्ट कहाँ पे इंसेसेंट रेनफॉल ज्यादा हो रही है दैट इज कॉजिंग लैंडस्लाइड very very important you can have a look at this map you can you will get an idea landslide sabse zyada india mein kahan pe hoti hai okay so moving on to the next question we have where is shiv mogga airport located shiv mogga airport kahan pe located hai you have options andhra pradesh karnataka kerala odisha and telangana okay shiv mogga district bahut bahut important hai bahut zyada popular hai i then it keep coming specially in the hindu the district shivmogga uh, is frequently many times it is covered so it is a very easy question if you know about the shivmogga district it was also in news regarding swachh bharat abhiyan mein bhi news mein aaya tha but now right now we are talking about the airport it is a green field airport it is located in karnataka in the state of karnataka right and why this has been in news this has been in news why because the state government of karnataka has proposed that this lotus shaped shivmogga temple should be named after the 
after the former chief minister mr uh, former chief minister of uh, Karnataka, Mr. B. S. Yedurappa, right? So, Mr. B. S. Yedurappa has been the four times Chief Minister of Karnataka, right? He has also been the leader of opposition in the Karnataka Legislative Assembly. Also, also the foundation stone, the foundation work for this very airport was also laid by Mr. by uh, this former chief minister so why not why not why shouldn't this airport be named after him right and is ke airport ke structure ke peechhe bhi jo controversy hai that it is lotus shaped so lotus is the national flower of india right so there is nothing absolutely nothing controversial about it so this was this uh, this is actually a greenfield airport you all must have come across the terms greenfield and brownfield airports under udan scheme right greenfield airports means that they have been built from the scratch from the foundation stone they have been built a new right totally new so this is a greenfield airport which was uh, commissioned a few years ago by the former chief minister b s yedurappa uh, costing rupees 220 crore okay so this was all about it moving on to the next question we have which ministry has signed an agreement with the united nation development program to collaborate in areas of knowledge sharing and strengthening monitoring mechanism for localization of sustainable if you have read this news if you have read this news there is no need to you know kyunki timer chal raha hota hai we are ऑलवेज इन हरी हमको लगता है कि जी ए वाला सेक्शन ऐसा सेक्शन है जो देखते ही हम लोग तुरंत सॉल्व कर लें बट समाइम्स ऐसा नहीं होगा वाई बिकॉज यू विल कम अक्रॉस सच लेंदी क्वेश्चन एक दो बार अगर ऐसा लेंदी क्वेश्चन आ भी गया देर इज एब्सोल्यूटली नो नीड टू पैनिक दैट इज द वॉर दैट इज द वॉर दैट यू हैव टू फाइट विद योर सेल्फ टू स्टे काम टू स्टे काम in the time when the time is run in the event that the time is running out and the question is lengthy ye aapke sath maths mein bhi ho sakta hai dilr and even english mein bhi ho sakta hai the fight is to keep yourself calm to not to panic to read the question with a calm mind and then attempt the answer if you know it you will be able to solve it as as far as ga is concerned if you don't know it you won't be able to solve it that is that is the story right so which ministry has signed an agreement with undp to collaborate in areas of knowledge sharing number 1 strengthening monitoring mechanisms and localization of sustainable development goals sustainable development goal ka basic agenda kya hai localization on a country level sustainable sustainable development goals kon implement karta hai that is your niti aayog Now the question is the agenda is sustainable development goal को अगर लोकलाइज किया जाएगा लोकलाइज किया जाएगा तो उनका इम्प्लीमेंटेशन नो ग्राउंड लेवल पर और भी ज़्यादा बढ़ जाएगा राइट दे विल बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड ऑन द ग्राउंड लेवल सो इस इस चीज से इस वेरी टर्म से लोकलाइजेशन टर्म से आप ये इन्फर कर सकते हैं कि इसका करेक्ट आंसर क्या है You can easily eliminate it. Localization कौन करेगा North East, it is only concerned with the North East region. No, women and child development. Women and child development will look at no sustainable development agenda that are related to women and children, right? You have only two options left: Panchayati Raj and Rural Development. Commerce and Industry Ministry नहीं हो सकता है for obvious reasons. You know. रूरल डेवलपमेंट एंड पंचायती राज ये दो मिनिस्ट्रीज हैं जो कि कहीं ना कहीं तक ग्राउंड लेवल पे ग्रास रूट लेवल पे सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स को इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकती हैं तो पंचायती राज मिनिस्ट्री इज द करेक्ट आंसर व्हाई बिकॉज अंडर इट एम्बिट्स कम्स योर पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशन राइट पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशन आर वन ऑफ द एपी सेंटर ऑफ लोकलाइजेशन एंड डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ गवर्नमेंट फील गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स एट द ग्रास रूट लेवल ओके सो यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पंचायती राज एंड यू एन डी पी हैव साइंड एन अग्रीमेंट टू कोलेबोरेट इन द एरियाज ऑफ नॉन एट शेयरिंग मॉनिटरिंग मैकेजम ऑन द लोकलाइजेशन ऑफ सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोड ओके सो यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ पंचायती राज यू ऑल नो श्री गिरिराज सिंह 
have signed an MOU with the UNDP, uh, signed an agreement with the UNDP for the localization of SDGs, right? So, Panchayati Raj institutions basically kis ki taraf aim karta hai? Self-governance, right? Across the rural area. Last mile connectivity, major government schemes, jo large scale government schemes hai, unka jo grassroot implementation hota hai, the ultimate, the ultimate burden comes on to what? Panchayati Raj institutions. In the fact, in the face that 65% of the population of India still belongs to the rural India, right? 65% of the population still belongs to rural India. So, this uh, partnership between MOPR and UNDP is very, very important, right? UNDP or Niti Aayog ne state governments ke saath bhi partnership kiya hai for the implementation of sustainable development goal. So, एक बार इसके बारे में भी जानना जरूरी है. What are those? Which are those state governments with which Ministry of Panchayati, not Ministry, but UNDP and Niti Aayog have collaborated with to implement Sustainable Development Goal on the state level? So, the state governments are Haryana, they are Karnataka, Nagaland. Punjab and Uttarakhand, right? These are certain collaborations between Union Ministry of Panjaiti Raj and no, no, no. These are certain collaborations between UNDP, Niti Aayog, and state governments. Because we are talking about sustainable development goals, I thought this was important to cover. Okay, moving on to the next question, we have India's Naval Institute of Education Training Technology has signed an MOU with IIM Cozy Code in the field of instructional leadership, education, psychology and management, right? Instruction, leadership, education, psychology or management uh, ka ek MOU signed kiya gaya hai between IIM Cozy Code and uh, Indian Navy's Naval Institute of Education, Training and Technology, which ka motto hai training the trainers, right? They train naval officers who in future become trainers, those trained naval officers join this organization to train a new batch of naval officers. That is how it actually works. So, in dono ke beech mein ek MOU sign hua hai. To which IAM has signed it? I am Cozy Code, right? NIET located kaha pe hai? Where is the base of Naval Institute of Training? This base of Naval Institute of Education, Training and Technology located? It is located in the city of Kochi. Right, it is located in the naval base Kochi, and Indian Navy ka ye logo hai or ye motto hai Sham no Varuna, may the, may the Lord Varun be peaceful to us, right? Be blessful to us. This is the motto of Indian Navy. The Lord Varun means the God of the sea, God of oceans, right? Sham no Varuna is the motto of Indian Navy. So, this was it to it. A very small piece of information but important. In how many cantonment boards will the Ministry of Defense along with the Ministry of Ayush open Ayurved centers? Ayurved centers kitne cantonment boards mein khole jayenge. There is an MOU between the Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Ayush. Isse pehle bhi Ministry of Defense and Ayush mein kaafi saare MOU sign kiye gaya hai. Alright. So along with how many cantonment boards will be open? The correct answer here is 37 cantonment boards will be opened. 37, not cantonment boards, sorry. 37 Ayurveda centers will be open, um, you know, in cantonment hospitals owned by the uh, military. All right. So, in order to uh, treat people better through Ayurvedic sciences, so this MOU bhi kaha pe sign kiya gaya hai? Global Innovation. Jo global investment hub hai, global Ayush investment and innovation summit, right? Global Ayush investment and innovation summit, jo abhi conduct karaya ja raha hai in the city of Gandhinagar, Gujarat, right? In the city of Gandhinagar 2022, this summit is being organized, right? So, this is where this is where this MOU between the Ministry of Defense, between the Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Ayush is being signed. <clears throat> so, this is also important. Isse pehle bhi, isse pehle bhi Ministry of Defense and Ayush 
साथ में काफ़ी बार कोलैबोरेट कर चुके हैं टू यू नो फैसिलिटेट आयुर्वेदिक ट्रीटमेंट्स टू दी मिलिट्री पर्सनल्स इन द कंट्री सॉरी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बैंक हैज लॉन्च फिनक्लूवेशन इनिशिएटिव टू कोलैबोरेट टू कोलैबोरेट विद फिन टेक स्टार्टअप कम्युनिटी टू को क्रिएट एंड इनोवेट सोल्यूशन फॉर फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन तो फिनक्लूवेशन फिनक्लूवेशन इनिशिएटिव कौन से बैंक ने स्टार्ट किया फिनक्लूवेशन वर्ड से ही यू मस्ट बी गेटिंग एन आइडिया दैट इट इज रिलेटेड टू वर्ड इट इज रिलेटेड टू फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन राइट फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन इन द डिजिटल स्पेस राइट फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन इन द डिजिटल स्पेस आपसे ये पूछा जा रहा है कि कौन से बैंक ने ये इनिशिएटिव स्टार्ट किया है तो द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक विच इज़ अ होल्ली ओन्ड हंड्रेड परसेंट ओन्ड गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया पे पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक राइट दिस कम्स अंडर द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पोस्ट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पोस्ट के अंडर ये आता है ओके दिस इज फिनक्लूवेशन एंड इंडस्ट्री फर्स्ट प्लेटफॉर्म टू कोलैबोरेट एंड बिल्ड सोल्यूशन फॉर फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन डिजिटल स्पेस में फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन को बेसिकली प्रमोट करने के लिए फिनक्लूवेशन इनिशिएटिव स्टार्ट किया गया है बाई द इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक टू को क्रिएट इनोवेटिव सोल्यूशन फॉर द फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन ऑफ द अंडर सर्व एंड अनसर्व पीपल ऑफ अर कंट्री फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड इंडस्ट्री इनिशिएटिव पावरफुल प्लेटफॉर्म टू मोबिलाइज स्टार्टअप कम्युनिटी राइट फॉर बिल्डिंग मीनिंगफुल फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स एम्ड एट फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन फॉर बिल्डिंग मीनिंगफुल फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स एम्ड एट फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन इसका मतलब क्या हो जाएगा कि ऐसे फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स जो कि ईजिली एक्सेसिबल हो टू द बेसिक पीपल to people who do not understand much about the financial market but you know need an easy way out to get to become a part of the system it is a permanent platform finclusion ek permanent platform ban jayega india post payment bank ka to co create inclusive financial in, uh, solutions with the participating startups so india post payment bank jo ki department of post ke andar aata hai uh, basically how will it facilitate financial inclusion iske bare mein bhi let's let me give you some insights so india post payment bank facilitates opening up of three types of account right saving account regular account right teesra type ka jo account india post payment bank provide karta hai that is your digital account digital account can be opened with the india post payment bank through the ipbp app थ्रू दी आई पी बी पी एप राइट और इन तीनों अकाउंट में कोई भी कस्टमर एक लाख रुपये से ज़्यादा राशि जमा नहीं कर सकता एनी एनी कस्टमर कैन नॉट यू नो डिपॉजिट मोर देन एन अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीज वन लाख विद द इंडियन पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक राइट इंडियन पोस्ट डिजिटल पेमेंट ऐप के थ्रू ये लॉन्च uh, किया जाएगा to open up digital savings account to open up digital savings account of the customers okay so this is what it is about jitne bhi startups honge jitne bhi financial uh, inclusion or financial technology se related startups honge the indian post payment bank will help them set up their uh, facilities on this app <laughs> so इंडियन पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक बहुत बड़ा और बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट इनिशिएटिव था दैट वॉज टेकन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू प्रमोट फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन इन द कंट्री बेसिक उसके जो ग्रास रूट लेवल पे जो एजेंट्स होते हैं इंडियन पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक के यूजली उनको क्या कहा जाता है बैंकिंग कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट्स राइट बैंकिंग कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट्स आर द पीपल हु implement who go door to door door step they provide door step service delivery right door step service delivery in the field of banking and finance these are very important people you should know about it you should know ki humko major schemes ke bare mein pata chal jata hai but grass root implementation kaise ho raha hai uske bare mein bhi humko pata hona chahiye When is the World Creativity and Innovation Day observed? World Creativity and Innovation Day is an initiative by the United Nations. It is observed on April twenty one, 
अप्रैल ट्वेंटी वर्ड फर्स्ट को वर्ल्ड क्रिएटिविटी एंड इनोवेशन डे सेलिब्रेट किया जाता है टू इनकल्केट अ कल्चर ऑफ यू नो इनोवेशन एंड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग अप्रोच is very very crucially important to every single individual whether you are preparing for your rbi exam whether you are already selected and serving in a post aap kahin bhi bhi life mein jao kuch bhi karo always channelize your thinking process towards a problem solving approach every time instead of complaining about problems right instead of cribbing over problems you should always have a solution oriented mindset and jiska mindset solution oriented hota hai a person who is 24/7 thinking about solutions to the problems whether be at micro level or whether be at macro level innovation and creativity automatically comes into place राइट दे ऑटोमेटिकली कम इन टू प्ले एंड इसमें डिजिटल वर्ल्ड डिजिटल मीडिया आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज सो सो इम्पॉर्टेंट सो दिस इज द डे विच इज ऑब्जर्व बाय द यूनाइटेड नेशंस और राइट एंड ऑल्सो आज वर्ल्ड अर्थ डे भी ऑब्जर्व किया जा रहा है सो हैप्पी वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड अर्थ डे टू यू ऑल और राइट एंड ऑल्सो यू शुड थिंक इट इज नॉट द अर्थ डे दैट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन दिसंबर दिस इज अ डिफरेंट वन वी विल टॉक अबाउट इट maybe more in our next session all right so when it is world earth day you should also be thinking about solutions how how as a grade b officer how as a leader how as a person or a, a person in position and power will you be able to solve the problems uh, that are there the targets that are there in sustainable development goals start thinking as leaders already who has been named as global peace ambassador for promotion of peace 2022 global peace ambassador for promoting peace for the year 2022 who has been named such who is chaliye jaldi se answer kariye the correct answer here is ma'am babita singh miss babita singh has been awarded uh, this uh, has been honored with this global peace ambassador award which is very very important it implies that she is one of those few designated individuals who have dedicated their lifetimes of practice to implement universal moral values right to inculcate peace human rights charter ko implement kar raha in sab areas mein jinhone kaam kiya hai she is one of those few serial and entrepreneur babita singh right through sports culture डिप्लोमेसी इन सब माध्यम इन सब वेज एंड मीन्स को यूज़ करके पीस प्रमोशन का काम किया इन्होंने बबीता सिंह ने शी हैज़ बीन कॉन्फर्ड विद ग्लोबल पीस अम्बेसडर अवार्ड विच इज़ कंडक्टेड बाय एशिया अफ्रीका कंसोर्टियम इन शांगरी ला न्यू डेली राइट एंड द इवेंट विल बी द चीफ गेस्ट ऑफ दिस इवेंट विल बी योर यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ सिविल एविएशन विल बी द चीफ गेस्ट ऑफ द इवेंट यू ऑल नो मिस्टर ज्योतिर आदित्य सिंधिया ओके एंड दिस इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड बाय एशिया अफ्रीका कंसोर्टियम राइट टू ऑनर पीपल हु फॉस्टर सोशियो इकोनॉमिक रिलेशन सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ बिटवीन कंट्रीज बिटवीन एशिया एंड अफ्रीका इन दीज सेक्टर्स ओके so moving on to the very last question of the day we have who has been awarded the entrepreneur leadership award by the indo american chamber of commerce indo american chamber of commerce uh, ke through entrepreneur leadership award kisko mila gaya hai answer the question very very important personality we all know these are already very important personality all these four but doc mr vivek lal mr vivek lal is also a very important personality uh, first of all let's uh, know about he he is presently the chief executive of global atomics and global cooperation he has been awarded the entrepreneur leadership award by the indo american chamber of commerce it was established by 1968 it is an apex bilateral forum for strengthening india us economic cooperation right or uh, isse isko establish kisne kiya hai many people for example mr s l kirloskar s l kirloskar 
right mr harish mahindra these are some few big industrial names in, from india who have contributed towards the formation of this iaac uh, forum okay now let's talk a little bit more a little bit more about dr vivek lal uh, dr uh, not dr vivek lal but mr vivek lal in 2018 in may 2007 he was the वाइस प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ बोइंग बोइंग डिफेंस स्पेस बोइंग डिफेंस स्पेस का ये वाइस प्रेजिडेंट रह चुके हैं यू एस ए की लॉकहीड मार्टिन लॉकहीड मार्टिन कितनी बड़ी डिफेंस कंपनी है यू कीप रीडिंग अबाउट इट इन योर डेली करेंट अफेयर्स ऑल्सो डिफेंस से रिलेटेड कोई भी न्यूज आती है वेन यू रीड दैट लॉकहीड मार्टिन इज इन्वॉल्व इट बिकम्स एन इम्पॉर्टेंट सिंबल ऑफ करेंट अफेयर्स राइट सो इसको भी ये हेड कर चुके हैं Currently, he currently he is the head of General Atomics Global Cooperation, right? Since uh, June twenty twenty, and he is also uh, the senior advisor to the Center of Commerce and uh, Center for Commerce and Diplomacy at the U University of California. Okay, so the global leader in defense and aviation sector, Mr. Lal, is the global leader in defense and aviation sector. At present, he is working at this and he is also the board of director of us japan business council us india business council so is quite an important personality of the day two important personalities of the day ms babita singh and mr vivek lal okay so this was it for today i hope the session was useful to you keep preparing keep studying well take care and all the very best for your exam bye bye